Hey what's going on guys, it is Jaco and welcome back to some more GTA 6 Concepts. And today's topic is going to be properties. Of course if you guys would like to check out any of the previous or future episodes of GTA 6 Concepts where we discuss some things we love to see in GTA 6, I'll leave the full playlist down below in the description as well as let me know some other concepts and topics you guys would like to talk about in the comments down below. If there's one thing GTA Online came up short in, it's definitely how properties, apartments, houses, the lack of mansions was incredibly disappointing. There was a whopping like three or four home interiors for the entire game, even though you could buy dozens or probably even close to a hundred properties at this point now in GTA Online. They all had the same probably three to five, maybe six interiors. I know the penthouses, you could make them a different color or you know but most of the base apartments had the exact same interior no matter what location you were on the map no matter if you were level 1000 or if you're just starting the game you and a level 1000 could have the exact same apartment and have no difference at all like no customizations no really paintings there was literally zero customizations we could do to apartments we had some penthouse customizations sure and when you take a look at the offices, yeah, we could have some money laying around, which honestly was pretty cool for the office, but I wouldn't always want. Sometimes I like a nice clean interior for my office, but we had to have money, drugs, and guns laying around, which was pretty cool because it showed the progression and sort of how far you've come in the businesses, but it got kind of annoying sometimes. I just wish we had the option to either turn it on or off. And, of course, the lack of mansions was incredibly disappointing. We're 10 years into the game, and our players can still only live in shitty little apartments. We have some cool penthouses and stuff, but I would really like a mansion of my own even still to this day. So that's what I'm here to talk about is GTA 6 and hopefully the massive overhaul we can see in GTA 6 properties, apartments, mansions, houses, all of those sorts of fun properties. I'm going to specifically leave out business properties, at least for this video. I could always go back and touch up on them some and what I want to see for GTA 6 business properties, but for the most part, I just want to see more variation of properties. If there's, let's say, three or four different apartments, I would like to have three or four different interiors and then have the ability to customize them any way I want, throw up some paintings, throw house parties like we could in the penthouse for GTA Online. That was a really, really cool feature. And houses should work the same way there should be you know maybe a half a dozen different houses and then they all should start with different interiors and then from there you can buy upgrade customize the interiors get a maid get a butler because in gta online after you get one apartment unless you need the more garage space there's zero reason to get a new apartment unless of course you want to spawn on or in Polito bay or something but you i don't know why you'd want to do that to be honest in our apartments now in gt online there's like three things we can do watch tv smoke from the bong drink some liquor wine or whatever and that's just about it that's the only use they have we have a bed we can sleep in we have a shower we can shower in but there's no real advantages to using any of that stuff so on GTA 6, I would love to see more customizations and let me know some of your guys' customization ideas down below and I would like to see these apartments or properties and houses actually be a front for some of our criminal actions throughout GTA 6 and GTA 6 Online. And what I mean is that maybe if we had a surplus or we stole some supplies or something, we could take it to our apartment and hide it in our garage or something. Or if we stole a car and it was too hot to sell, then we could leave it in our house or in our garage to hide until we're able to sell it. Or maybe even have the ability to kidnap people and hold them for ransom in your house or apartment or mansion or something like that. Because in GTA Online right now, when you enter an apartment, you can't really bring anything with you. And then you're kind of moved to a different location where the interior actually is. And you can't access any of the outside world unless, of course, you're looking through the window. You could kind of see stuff happening in an online session through the window. I would love it for to work like single player right now in GTA 5 where you could bring people inside and have, you know, full access to the outside and the inside world at will. As long as, of course, no one else owns that same property in the session. I don't really know how that would work if it were to work like that. 
have your safe house or apartment or something actually be a safe house where you're laundering and funneling a bunch of money and drugs there so and that's where they hide and that's where you keep the extra stuff and if anyone is to raid your house maybe you get a text message from your butler your maid or maybe your dog texts you or something like that whatever animals or cosmetic pets you can get that would be pretty cool to see as well or maybe have your dog even fend off an intruder trying to break into your home and then maybe you need the option to go back to your property kill all the people trying to raid you or chase them down and get all your stuff back right now in gt online we have been massive <laughs> we've owned massive criminal empires for 10 years now and it seems that nobody really even knows who we are still the world kind of just revolves around us and no one cares to come after us or raid us or go to our apartments and do anything not that there's anything really special going on there we have some business raids and that sort of stuff but it's not really directed towards us it's more taking the supplies there's no directly hate crimes to our gt online characters in a sense when we're attacked and we're raided like that i would rather it be more personal to attack us and not just stealing stuff for money but that's just me i want to see properties play a much bigger role in gta 6 and gta 6 online i want it to actually matter where you live i want it to actually matter what property you get and what interior upgrades you decide to design for yourself the saints row games that are much older than gta 5 even though gta 5 can almost in middle school now you had the options to upgrade and customize your interiors in the old Saints Row games. Almost every single apartment, I believe, in Saints Row 2 or any property you owned, you could customize it in your own way. Though you didn't have a ton of customization options, it was either upgraded a little bit or upgraded a ton, and then the entire interior would change from the ground up, including the wallpapers, the floors, they would add stripper poles, TVs. There was so much detail in the old Saints Row games. And I think something like mansions should be a massive end game goal to reach. It's not something you're really getting to or focused on right away when you hop into GTA 6 online. Make these things really expensive, but make the price actually matter where if you own a $20 million mansion, sorry, compared to a $10 million mansion, you get a lot more functions, upgrades, maybe an underground warehouse to hide your narcotics and supplies and that sort of stuff. I think since we don't have mansions even now in GTA Online, they seem really, really special and really, really far-fetched, so I would like to see them be really, really hard to get where if you're level 100 or 1000 or something and you got a ton of money, a mansion should be a big flex. It shouldn't be just like any old apartment or any old house you can buy from like GTA Online currently right now. But let me know some of your other ideas. I definitely think apartments and interiors definitely need upgrades and shouldn't be the same thing in GTA 6 Online. Of course, let me know your guys' thoughts down below. Suggest some ideas too, whether what you want to see in these properties. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.